the Super Fusion Tender Pop. Mm. Crispy skin, tender, tender, tender. There's one skewer to rule them all. It could be this one. Hey, Yaki Gang, Yakitori Gai here. So today's video inspiration comes from my friend Sylvia Wakana, who creates amazing content around Japanese food and Japanese culture, and happens to be an avid anime fan. So I'm bringing some anime energy into my yakitori today, here with my super fusion tender pop negima. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I'm a big Gundam fan and enjoy making Gundam models like this. It's something that I've been doing since my childhood and something that I still like to do to this day on my free time. So with Gundam models, you have this kit and it comes with all these parts. These are plastic parts and then you cut these into smaller pieces, clean it up by trimming it, polishing it, painting it. And with all those parts, you put it back together and then you can build something like this. I'm pretty sure this is why I love yaktori as it's the same step thing. You have this chicken, you break it down into different pieces, you clean it up, you skewer it back together and you create something new with it. If you're interested in reading more about Gundam and Yaktori and how they relate, I did write a blog post so make sure to check that out. I'll put that link in the descriptions. So Gundam is by far my favorite anime universe but my second favorite franchise is Dragon Ball and today I wanted to take an inspiration from one of my favorite special moves in Dragon Ball which is fusion which takes equally strong individuals and they fuse and combine together to make an even stronger fighter. So my friend Sylvia's favorite skier happens to be the negima, classic yakitori, basically chicken in between onions. But today I wanted to fusion together two of my most popular signature skiers and make a new negima. So we got the knee cartilage lollipop and a tender AF skier. I'm going to fuse them together. Combined it becomes a super fusion tender pop. As usual, I recommend starting with the whole chicken if you can. You get more bang for your buck and the meat quality is the best. So these two skewers are definitely the most tender and juiciest parts from the whole chicken. With the lollipop, see this fat right here? This is on this area of the thigh. And when it's on the chicken, it's the top front area of the thigh closest to the belly. Not much muscle, so it's just lined there, layer of fat. That cooks up this lollipop very juicy. And with the tender AF skewer, we have right here the oyster and the inner thigh. This is the oyster. So right here, these round areas, these are the chicken oysters. Part of the thigh meat and as chicken is walking around. It's a muscle but it's not doing much, that's why it stays tender. And right here is the inner thigh. So these two sections are just super tender, juicy areas. And on the bottom we have chicken tail. We don't need this leg. Let's go ahead and just cut it right through. We'll discard this for another skewer. For making the super fusion tender pop, we're gonna need one chicken thigh and one negi. So right here, there is a bone here. If you buy it at the store, you might have it boneless. But if there is a bone, run our knife along this white fat line right here. Carve alongside. Just carefully just carve around the bone. Try to take off as much meat as you can. Discard this for soup. And right here, this is the oyster. This is the inner thigh. So you can definitely see that it's a separate piece that we want to remove from this chicken thigh. Slice it across the muscle. Be able to remove one loin right here. Inner thigh. Oyster. I like to stick my knife just into it. Get through that skin and just off the other end so we have the oyster in our thigh and for the lollipop we're going to use this side so we just cut off the oyster and we're going to just slice right here through so we have these thigh pieces right here separate this for later onion cut it into about three centimeters wide let's go ahead and make the super fusion tender pop we're going to take this piece of the inner thigh leave it on the cutting board roll it across stick it in Gonna look something like this. And let's take this inner thigh piece. Got that fat running. There's even a cartilage in there for that crunch. Stick it through the skin and the meat. And once you have it stuck through, take a piece of onion, stick it through, then put this over. Layer of the meat and the onion right here. Take one more onion, stick it right to the middle. Pull everything down so we have room. And then we're gonna top it off with the oyster. Stick it through the skin, the meat, roll it, stick it out. So I'm gonna trim to make sure it's nice and center and balanced. And then we have the oysters on top, crunchy onion, got the thigh, the fatty thigh with onion in there, there's cartilage in there. And we're gonna end it off with the inner thigh meat. So very, very, very tender. Now what do we do with this final piece of the thigh? We're gonna make another negima. So if you can see the muscles are going in one direction, we wanna cut against that muscle. So we're gonna be cutting it right here. We flip it over, cut it right center, going against the muscle on top. Bottom, one onion, take a skewer, through, through onion, always 
skewer into the cutting board. Pull it out, even it out, trim the sides. Trimmings we can use for ground chicken meatballs, gonna add later. So right here we have my standard negima, where it's the thigh meat with skin and negi right here in the middle. And right here we have the super fusion tender pot. This is a combination of the knee cartilage lollipop and the tender AF skewer all in one bite. But it is still definitely a negima because the negi is in between the meats just like this. So two variations. All right, so the grill is nice and hot. So let's take these super fusion tender pops and get them on the grill. So first some salt, some sake, and then skin side down first. And then same thing with these negima, some salt, some sake, and skin side down. It's all that fat rendering out. So this is all the smoke that's created by the chicken fat. So I use this fan to regulate the temperature of the charcoal by sending it more oxygen, either through this vent hole or the top. But I can also use this fan to deflect the smoke that's escaping back on to the skewers. So that adds that extra smokeness. So when the skewers are pretty much done, that's when I'm gonna dip into the tare. Get all that chicken fats back inside. Go ahead and dip again, regular nigma. Back on the grill. Super Fusion Tender Pop. Mm -hmm. Crispy skin, tender, tender, tender oysters. Some shochu to chase it. Cleanse the palate. Gotta go for the, the lollipop part. Hot, hot. Yakitori is definitely best straight off the grill. Hot. Huh. So with this fusion tender pop, you just have so many different flavors, textures, juiciness. It's definitely tender and juicy, all the tender parts. Then you get the crunch from the negi and then the knee cartilage. So there's one skewer to rule them all. It could be this one. Super Fusion Tender Pop. I take yakitori seriously and definitely recommend everyone start with the basic techniques and skewers. But today is a reminder that with yakitori you can always have fun, experiment, try new things. That's how all these skewers developed over the history. And let me know what kind of new skewers you guys come up with. Let me know in those comments. And as usual, keep on taking those photos. Tag Yaki Gang. I love seeing your guys' progress, so keep it up. Alright, that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Bye Yaki Gang. With these kids inside.